The accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant shook the entire world, including its aftermath. If many people think that the Chernobyl accident took many lives at once, that is not the case. During the explosion itself, one operator died, whose remains are still buried under the rubble, and the other died of injuries and burns already in hospital. When Chernobyl exploded, there were several blasts, most eyewitnesses claim there were two, the exact time being April 26, 1986 at 1 hour 23 minutes and 47 seconds, Saturday. The reactor was destroyed in just three minutes. Already after the very explosion of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant and the subsequent liquidation work, during three months 31 people died, due to radiation, who were employed in the first hours to eliminate the fire. As a result, more than half a million people were involved in the liquidation work. The Chernobyl accident took the lives of up to 80,000 people due to distant radiation exposure. 134 of them had an acute stage of radiation sickness, these were the first people to arrive on call. A day off. Children's voices can be heard around town. The joyful laughter comes from everywhere, and merry swings carry carefree children up into the air. Such a picture could have pleased the streets of Pripyat and nearby villages and towns for many years. But the Chernobyl accident prevented them from enjoying their childhood, playing their favorite games and running through puddles on a spring day. The children of Chernobyl are the main victims of what happened in 1986 on April 26. The consequences were irreversible. The radiation from Chernobyl ruthlessly destroyed everything in its path. It spared neither young people who had just started families, nor children who were still in the womb. And no wonder that the rumor of mutant children in Chernobyl spread quickly enough. Back then, when people didn't yet have a full understanding of the concept of radiation, scientific literature flew off library shelves in a heartbeat. That radioactive elements were affecting the environment became immediately apparent. The hue that the coniferous forest, now called redwood, had acquired was the first evidence. However, strong grounds for speculation about creepy mutant children in Chernobyl came later. Undoubtedly, the vegetation and all living things around the nuclear plant were significantly affected. Those who were near Chernobyl in the first hours after the explosion died of radiation sickness. Thousands of people acquired diseases of the thyroid gland, respiratory tract, and the circulatory system. Women who were pregnant were treated in a special way. The Soviet regime wanted to kill the unborn babies. It was believed that irradiated pregnant women could give birth to mutant children after the Chernobyl accident. Some women managed to avoid this fate and save their child, while others became victims of the system. In general, we can say that, of course, children are victims of Chernobyl. However, it was not necessary to talk about terrible fantastic mutations, the concept of mutation and how it relates to the Chernobyl accident. Before talking about mutant children after Chernobyl and looking at pictures of Chernobyl and mutant children on the internet, it is worthwhile to understand the meaning of the term mutation. It is also important to have an idea of how mutation can be related to the radioactive effects on a living organism. Note that the term mutation refers to a hereditary change. Such changes can occur in the structure of a person's DNA. A formed organism cannot be similarly affected by radiation. That is, there is no need to talk about children who have already been born. Who are they the mutant children of Chernobyl? The formation of the human body and its basic functions takes place up to the 12th week of pregnancy. At this time, the fetus is actively developing. And every subsequent week, the child grows and improves its skills. It turns out that the category of mutant children in Chernobyl may include babies who were at the initial stage of their formation in the womb. At this time, radiation can undoubtedly affect the first stages of fetal development, especially at the genetic level. This means that later we can talk about children with Down syndrome. 
also about the fact that a mutation has occurred can talk about functional abnormalities of the body, deviations of a psychological nature. In the latter case, these are autistic children, hyperactive kids. Treatment of affected children. To say that the heart of Chernobyl are mutant children would be wrong. After all, first and foremost, they are children who had to leave their childhood in the contaminated territory. The only difference between these children and others was special medical care and other needs. For a long time, children from the exclusion zone went to summer camps and rehabilitation in sanatoriums. Children mostly vacationed on the Italian coast, its climate was beneficial for children exposed to radiation. It is worth mentioning the cases when children spent a long time in the hospital beds. These are the kids who have suffered the most, due to the impact on the body of iodine-131. This element especially affects children's bodies, especially the thyroid gland. Children born after the Chernobyl explosion, who were unlucky, and had some developmental abnormalities, were also rehabilitated. If we talk about functional disorders, which can be corrected, such deviations were eliminated by surgical intervention. However psychological deviations can be called a social phenomenon, since it was social workers and psychologists who provided professional help to this category of children. Therefore, referring to internet sources and encountering articles with the headings Creepy Children Mutants of Chernobyl and Photos of Mutations it is worth thinking hard whether this headline reflects the truth or unverified information. Mutant Children After Chernobyl, Photos of Mutations, Mutant Children from Chernobyl in Orphanages These are the headlines that plague many search engines. This issue should be brought to a detailed and in-depth analysis because this is the only way to check how reliable it is. At the same time, according to studies by scientists, many of the facts that are passed off as truth can be refuted. The fate of children of Chernobyl. Even yesterday happy, full of carefree children in an instant plunged into the reality that Chernobyl left them. Not all of them can boast of an ordinary childhood and adolescence. Some of the Chernobyl-affected children lived an important stage of their lives in treatment and rehabilitation. However, many have also met a normal life, which may be full of both joy and happiness. Such a conclusion, of course, is gratifying, after all, children are our future. Even though they have had to endure considerable stress, they have been able to find a full life and rejoice in simple human things over time. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Write in the comments about what else interesting you can tell about this video. See you in the new video.